Well, tonight is the seventh night of Hanukkah, so we thought it would be fun to learn how to play dreidel. I can't, I've, I've started off on a horrible note. We are going to play dreidel. By the way, I will say, so we have Rabbi Eve Posen from Neve Shalom here in Portland, in Southwest Portland. And you are here to teach us. I have not played dreidel in many years, but my dad was raised Jewish, so in our family, we've definitely done, celebrated Hanukkah and played some dreidel in our lives. But I never actually knew how dreidel, the game, connected to Hanukkah. So you will tell us the story of Hanukkah and we'll lead us I into will. that? I will. It's like the fastest version of the story of Hanukkah Excellent. you've ever heard. <laughs> so basically 23, 2500 years ago, the Greeks were in the land of Israel. They took over. The first king, Alexander the Great, didn't really care about the Jews. Antiochus takes over. He wants the Jews to follow Greek culture. This group of the Jews, the Maccabees, didn't want to. A war starts. There were lots of Greeks, very few Jews, but magically, the Jews won, they go to the temple, the temple was destroyed, they need to light the Hanukkah, they need to light the menorah that was in the temple, so we have one here, and they didn't have enough oil to use. So there's this idea that the miracle of the oil lasted for eight days. Really, Hanukkah is eight days because Sukkot, our fall holiday, um, was eight days and they missed it while they were fighting. So we light the Hanukkah, the oil lasts magically, the oil lasts eight days just like the holiday they were making up last, and there you have the story of Hanukkah. But here's what happened, that wasn't the <laughs> last time that the Jews weren't allowed to celebrate their own religion. So the dreidel, one of the traditions, is that we use this to tell the story of Hanukkah in times when we couldn't actually teach our children the story. Ooh. So the dreidel, is, it's just a top, but it has four sides on it, and it tells the story in the letters that are on it. Oh. So all the dreidels here have a nun, a gimel, a hay, and a shin on them, which tells Neskadol Hayasham, a great miracle happened there. So if you were playing dreidel and you were spinning the top and somebody who didn't want you to be studying Judaism came in, it just looks like you're spinning a top. Mm -hmm. Not really telling, but when you teach the sentence, a great miracle happened there, Wow! you're like teaching the history of Hanukkah. So that's one of the ways the dreidel came to be. Now the game dreidel though, came with some different rules um, based on, some say it's the Yiddish letters that are, that words that come with the dreidel, some just say it's a fun game that we make up. So each letter stands for something mm -hmm. on the dreidel. Which goes with the game. It goes so with the game. So we have a couple of volunteers. We've got Jared and Brandon, fresh from the KGW newsroom for a little break. Are your fingers warmed up? Are you ready to spin? Yeah, now we might have bribed you saying, come play on the show, and there is chocolate involved because Hanukkah Geltz is part of it, guys. Yeah. Neither of you have played dreidel before. Never. Never. So you have to listen very closely to Rabbi E. Okay, so here's the rules. It's a high stakes game. <laughs> okay, all of us are gonna start. Everybody should take four pieces of gelt to start. It doesn't matter the size, unless you're eating it and then take more. Yeah, and the then ones are take the giant yeah, ones. Yeah, the bigger mm -hmm. ones are better. So we'll each start with four, or five, whatever pieces. Okay, so when you spin, it's your turn, you spin the dreidel. If it lands on a nun, you get nothing. Mm. If it lands on a gimel, you get everything in the pot. If like it, what's left over or yeah. the one? Oh, it's okay. Wow. Uh -huh. If it lands on a hay, you have to put half of your stash back in. Oh. And if it lands on a shin, you have to put it all in. Oh. I don't want that. You don't want a shin. You yeah. want a gimel. Gimels or none, because then you don't have to do anything. So we'll each take turns spinning. Okay. Who wants to go first? I've got skill, so maybe right. I shouldn't go first. I've been playing goes. all Hanukkah. My fingers are worn out. Uh, Whoa. So great. Expert spin. Oh, you got to put all yours in. Oh. All right. Wow. You all could right. just put one if you want. We could make the no, game. I'm play it's high stakes straight. Whoa, on. that's like the jump in the air spin. Nice job. Fancy. Nice job. I was Fancy. <laughs> that's what you were doing off camera this whole beginning of the show. Oh, oh God. Gimel, what? <laughs> oh, man. You get it all. Oh, you get it. <laughs> oh. Time, Game's over, right? <laughs> okay. I mean, we can see. <sighs> okay, okay, so I guess you get everything? Great. Da, 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 da. We need like Jeopardy music or something. Oh, I don't know what that one is. That's a gimel, you get it all too. Oh, but there's nothing left. I know, so that's the bummer gimel. All right, let's see what I'm going to get here. Of course, I choose my dreidel by the color. Me. Purple. My daughter Shiri and I love the color purple, oh. so I always go for the purple dreidel. I like it. I got a hay, so I got to put half mine in. So in this case, you would just take my half back because okay. you took it all first. Well, well, we'll have a share. We all have a lot of chocolate. We can all just eat chocolate and be happy. So. Well, if you want to see Rabbi Eve's other adventures, you can go to rabbieve.com and neveshalom.org. On Peaceful Lane. That's so beautiful. Happy Hanukkah, Happy Rabbi Hanukkah. Eve. Happy Hanukkah, guys. We'll all have some Hanukkah guilt. We'll be right back. Ooh.